In this lesson, you will learn how to compare the measurements of two different objects. Measuring tools for length can be used to see how long an object is. Some common measuring tools include rulers, yardsticks, meter sticks, and measuring tape. Now there are two different systems of measurement. One is called the metric system, and that has different units, and the other is called the customary system, which has its own units. Units for length in the metric system include units such as centimeters, abbreviated CM, meters, abbreviated M, and kilometers. And I also wrote these in increasing order, so centimeters are the smallest, meters are in between, and kilometers are longer distances or lengths. Now for the customary system, the units include inches, abbreviated IN, then you have feet, which is the next longer unit, and then you have yards, and lastly you can have miles. So now let's try and solve a problem and then we'll compare the lengths of two different objects after measuring them. Here we have two different colored pencils lined up next to a ruler. Rulers measure objects in inches so we know that the units we're working in will be inches. So let's find the length of the red pencil here. As you can see, what you do is you put the end of the pencil so that it lines up with the number zero on the ruler, and then you see how far up it goes. So the tip of the pencil ends at the number four, which means the red pencil is four inches long. Now let's take a look at the blue pencil. Again, you put the end of the pencil at the number zero. The tip of the pencil lines up with the number six. So the blue pencil is six inches long. If you compare these two, six is two more than four, which means that the blue pencil is two inches longer than the red pencil. Let's try another problem. So here you have two cars and you have a big measuring tape. Now these are normal sized cars, so just imagine that. And the way that I know that is because the measuring tape here says that it's in meters. So meters are about three feet. So if you have one meter, two meters, the height gets bigger in feet. So imagine that these are normal sized cars, but keep in mind that we're working in meters. So what you do here is you put the edge of the measuring tape to the front end of one car, so this lines up with zero, and then let's see where the tail end of the car lines up. It matches up to the number five on the measuring tape. So this car, the black car, is five meters long. Now let's do the same thing with the white car. So the tip of the car is at zero, and now the tail of the car ends up lining up with the number six. So the white car is six meters long. Six meters is one meter longer than five meters. So the white car is one meter longer than the black car. In this lesson, you've learned how to compare the measurements of two objects. Thanks for watching.